determining the number of real solutions using what we call a discriminant. Okay, in your quadratic formula that we just got through studying, the part up under the radical sign, the b squared minus 4ac, is what we know as the discriminant. And if you just do the algebra part of this, you can know how many solutions you're going to have on your parabola because at most you can have two solutions, but you might only have one. You could have two solutions, one or none. So you can look at the parabola and see here, if you cross the x-intercept twice, you've got two solutions. If it just sits on the x-intercept, going up or down, it doesn't matter, you have one solution. And if it either goes above it or below it, then you have no real solutions. They will be imaginary. Now, the way you know is when you do the math with your, with your, um, your um, numbers, if your answer happens to be positive, greater than zero, you're going to have the two real solutions, probably like this. If it only has one solution, it means that it equaled zero. And if it ends up being a negative number, that means that you have no real solutions and the parabola is either gonna be above it going up or below it going down. All right, so we'll, let's look at this one right here. X squared uh, plus eight X minus three equals zero, right? B squared minus four AC. The B is the eight, so we've got eight squared minus four, and then the A is a one and the C is a negative three. So eight squared is 64, and then negative four times one times negative three is a positive 12. So if you add those together, you're going to get 76, and 76 is a positive number bigger than zero. So on this one, I have two real solutions. All right, on this one right here, he's not in standard form yet, so let's subtract six X from both sides to make them that way, put your 9x squared in front of your negative 6x, and then, then your 1 equals 0. Okay, he's ready now. My a is 9, my b is negative 6, and my c is 1. So let's go over here and say b squared minus 4ac, and plug our numbers in. I've got a negative 6 squared minus 4 times a is 9, and c is 1. So 36, and then that is a negative 36. And we got zero here. So right here, if it equals zero, we have one real solution.